In this problem, we're told a 75 kilogram firefighter climbs a flight of stairs 20 meters high. How much work is required? So we're gonna be solving the work required for this climb, right? And so we know it's gonna be equal to uh, the force of the climb, right? So work equals force times distance, so the distance they travel, uh, multiplied by the cosine of theta. So this is the formula that you use in order to solve this. And so what we can do is split this force up equal to mg, right? because force is going to be the mass times their gravity. That's going to be the force acting on uh, our firefighter. So W is going to be equal to, and then we're splitting F into M times G times the distance times the cosine of theta. And so if you keep in mind, we know the mass. The mass is going to be 75 uh, kilograms. Uh, so let's write that down. Mass equals 75 kg. Uh, gravity is just going to be the force of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then D is going to be the distance they travel, which is 20 meters. So uh, D equals 20 meters. And then theta, in this case, is going to be equal to zero. And the reason that is is because the force is uh, the same as the distance we're traveling, right? So it's going to be equal to zero. And if we plug this in, and you should notice that uh, when we plug in zero into this, the cosine of zero is just one. So it doesn't change anything. Uh, if it was traveling in like a different direction, then it would be something else. But in this case, it's the same direction. So we don't have to really worry about it. Uh, so if we plug everything in, 75 times gravity, which is 9.8, times the distance they travel. And when you do this, make sure you have meters, meters per second squared, and kilograms. And when you get work, you measure it in joules, by the way, if you didn't know that. And then times the cosine of zero. But as I said, cosine of zero is just one. So multiplying it by one. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get 14,700 and then joules. So if you want to round this, or if you want to put it in scientific notation, you can. So you can just write it as uh, 1.47 times 10 to the 4 joules. Right? Because we move four decimals, 1, 2, 3, 4. But you can just leave it as whatever answer you want to do or whatever your teacher wants to do. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So the answer to this problem is going to be 14,700 joules. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.